Few days to August 12th, International Youth Day, Youth Sustainability Development Conference held a two-day webinar conference, which rounded off a while ago. Now to talk more on this is Duru Doluwa Femi Ajala, the co-founder Youth Sustainable Development Conference, joining us online. Good afternoon, nice to be here. Good afternoon, it's yes. great to be here. Thank you. Oh, could you please tell us about this year's conference and what were the major highlights? Thank you very much. So this year's conference was a two-day conference. We started yesterday and we ended today. So for me, the major highlights was actually the closing ceremony because we got um, the closing ceremony was where a lot of solutions were provided within the committee. So we had delegates from each committee bringing out their solutions. And aside from that, we had so many beautiful solutions on quality education, on gender equality, so many beautiful um, solutions. But the main part was about the comments and criticism gotten from these solutions because we brought about, we brought experts within this field to actually critique solutions. So it's not just that, oh, we are bringing out solutions for us to actually implement but more but more so that these solutions are practicable and actually realistic for people to actually implement this thing so the experts came up and talked about oh these are the ways that this um solution you provided can actually work these are the ways you can instead of doing this you can do that so the delegates and can now go back and go back to the blueprint and actually strategize and bring out better solutions on the matter so that was actually the highlight so it's not about just bringing solutions, bringing solutions or talking about the issue advocacy. Yeah, that, that is all good, but making sure that whatever we bring out are actually implemented. This is the main aim of YSDC, and this was a highlight of the committees of this, of our conference today. Could you please expand shades on the solutions mentioned? What would you say was the key takeaway, the solution to challenges and uh, uh, youth development in the country? Okay, so there, we had about six committees um, ranging from six different SDG goals, but one that actually stood out to me was that for quality education. And why was that? That was because there are so many beautiful solutions, but one that actually stood out was, um, was when a delegate brought about um, using technology to actually um, learn and not just the normal technology of using e -boards. Those are very fantastic, but ensuring that these technologies are actually suitable for the Nigerian economy are actually stable for the African economy because if you're actually going online to research, to studies, you find out that most of what we have online are international sources, are internationally inclined. So it's not just about um, ensuring that our students are online, are using the online system, but to ensure that this online system is actually suitable for the African society. So that was a solution provided that, or if we want to have quality education, if we want our Nigerian or African um, students to actually be more international, you have to ensure that the curriculums they are, um, the curriculums that are being taught to them are not just the international standard, but something that can actually be related to the African settings, to um, their history, things they can find online easily. So when they are going online, they are not only seeing the international scene, but they're also understanding more about the African setting. Indeed, education is so important, so much that it's the fourth yes, it SDG you know, listed. But we know that uh, United Nations member states did agree to uh, come together to achieve the Millennium Development Goals uh, as at 2015. Mm -hmm. But we see that Nigeria actually fell short of achieving that. How about the SDGs? Any prospects uh, do you see of uh, Nigeria uh, making that happen in the country? Um, the prospects are actually high. Why do I say this? Because aside from the MDGs, the MDGs were about eight, they were really fantastic. But when bringing about the SDGs, we have, we have about 17 SDGs compared to what we had in the MDGs. And under the SDGs, we have about 169 targets. There's, there's enough room for everybody to fly in if you really want to be involved within the SDGs. And in the Nigerian scheme, in people actually, in the youth being, um, being part of this, I think that's actually a core part of why the SDGs will actually flourish because the youths are taking initiative. They're making sure that, oh, I want to be part of this. I want to be part of this change. Mm -hmm. So the youths cannot be undervalued within the SDG process, unlike what we had in the MDGs. SDGs is something that the youths are actually taking initiative of and saying, I want to be part of this process. I want to ensure that I'm making impact and not just 
advocating or just talking about the solution, but I want to ensure that this is um, this um, the SDGs is something I am working on and actually implementing. I've been in so many organizations that are doing fantastic work on the SDGs, not just youth-led organizations, big organizations that are doing so many good work, climate change, um, reduce inequalities, people with disabilities, they are, they are taking, so it's, it's, there's enough space in the SDGs for everybody to apply. We have 17 goals. So you can decide to take one aspect of that goal, one target within the SDGs and decide to work on it. And this is what a lot of people are actually doing. So I think that, I don't even think, I believe that the SDGs have come a long way compared to what we had in the SDG, in the, with the MDG. Thank you for your time, Duro Dulua. Thank you very much. It's good to be here.